Hello and welcome to LearnDigitalDesign.com. This will be our 22nd Inkscape tutorial. Please visit us on the web at www.LearnDigitalDesign.com. Okay, well recently in our forum section I've had a question about how to delete in Inkscape. And uh, unfortunately it's not quite as easy as it is in some of the other programs where you just grab the eraser and erase over something because we're dealing with objects uh, paths and vectors here so it's not quite like that but there is a workaround here where you can uh, you can do whatever you want to do it just has to be done a little bit differently when you're dealing with these vectorized images so to illustrate how to do this the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a circle over here and I'm going to draw a circle here in the middle of the work area I'm going to color it blue so we can see here a little bit better and uh, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another um, object that's going to be on top of this circle. And you can do this with whatever other type of object you want. I'm just going to use the pencil for now. And I'm just going to make some sort of little design here, whatever. It's not anything. I'm just doing this for illustration. I'm going to color it a little different color. You don't have to color it a different color. I'm just doing this to show you uh, so you can see the difference between the two objects here now what I wanted to do is this area where I've drawn this object I want to cut away from this object and it's kind of like thinking about a cookie if you were to take a bite out of a cookie and this object here is the mouth and this is the cookie this object is going to take a bite out of that cookie and this area where this object is overlapping the cookie will be deleted just as if a bite was taken. Now next thing you gotta do is you gotta select both objects. In order to do that you hold down the shift key. Selecting one, holding down the shift, selecting the second object. Now both objects are selected. Now from here it's very simple. You go up here to the menu, go to path, and go to difference. And you can remember difference because it's the one that looks like a little bite's been taken out of it. And now this object is the only one that's left. There's nothing here. There's no white object overlapping this. This is not a hack. This is actually uh, the object. And so you can see that it is the object. I'm going to go to the select path by nodes tool here and you can see the vectors as it goes around the image here so um, I hope that that answers any questions that there may have been about how exactly to delete in Inkscape uh, if you have any more questions or would like to know more just visit the forums and ask me and I'd be glad to do another tutorial or help anybody who's having any type of individual problems Thank you so much for watching our tutorials. And at the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a little time here to promote our new forum section. If you want to find our forum section, go to our site at www.learndigitaldesign.com and click up here at the top where you see the forums tab. Click there, and uh, I've already got it pulled up here actually. So just scroll on down, and uh, you can find a place to register. Go ahead and register, sign up, and uh, Come right on down here to the introductions area where you can introduce yourself to the rest of the forums community. We have uh, all types of subjects here, uh, a place to post your work and show off your work that you've done, uh, open source design area, web design, photography, uh, there's the different types of software of course such as Inkscape, the GIMP, Blender other open source design software and if you went out and bought some really expensive software like Photoshop or something before you realized about open source design we're not gonna hold that against you we have a little area down here for you too talking about proprietary software um, you know then we just have our little general chat area down here where you can talk about whatever you want and uh, that's pretty much our forums area in a nutshell so uh, come on in and register for it so we can all uh, you know just start a little community here of course I will be very active in the forums and if you'd like to ask me a question about any specific type of software you know feel free to log in and post your question here of course you do have to be registered to post a question but it is free 
So I'll look forward to seeing you there. I'll see you in the next tutorial.